Chelsea footballer Kurt Zuma has been ordered to carry out 180 hours of community service for kicking and slapping a cat in videos that went viral online. The 27-year-old kicked one of his Bengal cats across the kitchen floor and slapped his pet in the head in front of his seven-year-old son. And this was all filmed by his brother, who also appeared in court. So, community service. Colleen, is that enough, as far as you're concerned? Obviously not, as far as I'm concerned. However, what's upset me more than that is the fact that he's only been... He's been banned for, what is it? Five, five and years. a half... Five years. Five years. ..from owning cats. To me, he should have been banned for life from owning any animal, mm. ever. Yeah. Um, so that's upset me more than anything. Um, and, oh, I don't... I, do you know what? I'm, so, I'm still so angry about the whole thing that it's really hard and I've just done a whole thing on forgiveness and all of those things, but he should be so, so ashamed and it shows how stupid they both are that one of them then posted it. Mm. Like, yeah. like, it was nothing. I mean, they're just... Brain dead, in my opinion. Is it even? Is it, I don't care what they think. Though, is it even stupidity, dead? or is it actually that they didn't even? It didn't enter their yeah, head that it was wrong. Thinking, How yeah. can you not think that's not only is it Bizarre. wrong to start with, but then to send it to people well, and think they're going to find it? An animal funny. is just a toy. Yes, yes. It's just a play thing. In front I mean, of he was children. fined quarter of a million pounds. He was dropped by two sponsors, although, ironically, didn't he... Wasn't he associate... He was ambassador for a, an animal charity. Yes, for big cats, for big cats, yeah. For big cats. I'd like to see I'd him like treat a big him cat. pick one of them, yeah. Well, I... I couldn't... I can't see the point in sending him to jail. I really, really can't. I think community service is about right, um, and that should, you know, hopefully educate him into the correct way to treat animals and treat them with... Uh, respect, but I don't think anything would be achieved at all by sending him to jail with a harsher sentence. I mean, the laws were apparently toughened up last year so that magistrates could award up to five years in jail, but I can't find anything in any of the explanations as to how she came to the decision that he wouldn't do any jail time at all. What do, what do you think, Brenda? I mean, I agree with everything that, that Janet and Colin have said, um, be the community service and and the fact that I don't think he should have a pet at all. Um, maybe a way to do it, you know, if, if you've got people who earn, like... What was it, he earns? Well, quarter of a million is... Quarter of a, two quarter weeks a million, wages. 6.8 million or whatever it is, 6.5 million. Mm. You know, maybe 20% of his 6.5 million would have gone a, a bit further away to make a dent in somebody's mind to say, oh, my God, I'm going to lose about a, a million and a half for doing something. There should be more of a deterrent than community service. Uh, and I do, I do think... Maybe the community... I don't know what it is, whether he's just going to be, like, sweeping the streets or something. Wouldn't it be better if he worked with animals? Well, well that's what I, I mean. Say. To then also, also almost be, like, a kind of an educational thing of this is why you don't treat animals in this way. And the, veterinary uh, can bills I just say as, as well, well they, they can rack up to quite a, a lot of money. We don't know how these cats are going to be affected going And can I just say forward. that has been proven that... Um, Crimes against animals normally lead on to crimes much bigger, bigger well, crimes. They yeah, start off with not, animals. Because yeah. if you haven't got the mentality to look at something so innocent and so loving of you and yeah. think you can hurt it, then yeah. where do you mm. stop at that? Um, well, she'll also point out that his, uh, his Bengal cats are alive and well and are being beautifully looked after and uh, obviously have been taken away from him, so that's very good.